Vision Network. This is DG Vision Network. Hello and welcome. Today, modern technology has paved the way for multifunctional devices like the smartwatch and smartphone. Computers are increasingly faster, more portable, and higher powered than ever before. With all this revolution, technology has also made our life faster, fun, and more exciting. On this note, I welcome you to DigiVision Network, your best stop for tech updates, trends, and how technology can make your life better across all sectors. I am Bayeru Agabi. How the new digital life can transform your business. I am Bayeru Agabi. Join us. This is DG Vision Network. Network. Hello, welcome to DG Trends for all trending news that made headlines during the week. I am Omoye Hazen. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel www.youtube.com slash Digivation Network. Here's the news. Nira proudly presents the sixth edition of the Dot NG Awards, recognizing individuals and organizations contributing to the growth and promotion of the Dot NG domain name. The award celebrates innovation and accomplishments within the Nigerian internet landscape. The award ceremony, which took place recently, marks the latest edition of this prestigious event, launched during Nira's 10th anniversary in 2016. During the welcome speech, Mr. Shikiro Shewon, Chairman Committee, appreciates those who have shaped the NG to be a brown name in Nigeria, thereby celebrating this achievement. Tonight, we are not just here to recognize excellence. You are here to applaud the dedication, innovation, and unwavering commitment of those who have played pivotal roles in shaping the future of the internet in Nigeria. Thanks to people who we are going to honor tonight and those who have honored in the past who have made the modest remark and making TNG to be a brand name in Nigeria. Mr. Adeshola Akinsonya, president of NIRA, underscores the significance of acknowledging accomplishments within the domain industry. So this marks a significant moment uh, especially for me, the year that has witnessed remarkable growth for NERA, propelled by impactful collaborations. So uh, in this dynamic landscape of our digital domain, these collaborations have emerged as instrumental forces driving impactful change within the Nigerian internet community. Meanwhile, Auditor Adebayo Kendi, representing Adini Christopher, says NIRA ensures a transparent process by soliciting nominations and vote from the public. The voting phase for the shortlisted nominees began on 25th September 2023 and ended on Tuesday 24th October 2023. This is to express my opinion on the reviewing and selection of the winner in this category of the award, the process is fair and true. There's no bias in, select, in our selection. Each category will follow the due process and we ensure that in each category, the criteria are met by each company. Some of the awards presented are Digital Award Innovation given to the Nigerian Communications Commission, Best in E-Commerce Award presented to Jumia Nigeria, and many other awards presented. The DOT NG domain managed by the Nigerian Internet Registration Association represents Nigeria's online identity. Nira's mission is to promote dot ng domain name registration and advance the domain name system industry.
The National Broadcasting Commission, NBC, is focusing on creating an enabling environment with a convergence of talents and celebration of innovation that will help shape the broadcast industry. The Director General of NBC, Mr. Charles Ebuwebu, made a statement at the Africa's 2023 with a team, broadcast content, synergy, finance and market, which held at the Marriott Hotel Lagos. The commitment to the ever-evolving world of broadcasting, where innovation, content and technology con converge to shape our collective future. This gathering of minds, this convergence of talents, this celebration of innovation is a testament to the extraordinary power of the media and broadcast industry to shape our world. It brings to mind the remarkable journey of progress that this great continent and its diverse nations have undertaken and the immense political potential that lies ahead. The conference provides a platform to analyze and review of Africa's broadcast perspective in relation to international best practices and standards. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Idris Mohamed, the chief host of the event, says the broadcast industry is critical to the success of President Bola Tinubu's administration's economic vision. The development of the broadcast and digital entertainment industry. As a government, we are very conscious about enabling and supporting private enterprise. President Bola Ahmed Chinubu understands that the success of his governing agenda, that is the renewed hope agenda that he has christened for himself, critically depends on the buy-in and support of the private sector. Our goals of creating jobs, tackling poverty, building the skills and capacity of our people, and ensuring that no one is left behind can only be achieved in partnership with the private sector. As well, he highlighted the industry needs to focus on business and commercial aspects, the framework for attractive investments. are now well known around the world, and we are constantly breaking new creative and content ground. What we now need to focus on are the business and commercial aspects, the frameworks for attractive investment and creating viable and sustainable pipelines for profitability. I have no doubt that by combining the political will of government and the technical and financial expertise of the private sector, we will succeed in this regard. Key players in the broadcast industry assess the progress so far that would meet international film standards, culture of the Nigerian broadcasting industry to be driven by content and technology. They're not just a, the typical regulator um, because of the, the history. The, our history is very different from the history of Europe and America and a few other places. Um, we had, for many decades, we had broadcasting was a sole uh, exclusive preserve of the government. And so it was only in the early 90s when General Babangida deregulated broadcasting, 92 and then 93 businesses. So the NBC was, was created at that time as a child of circumstances to, to help not only just regulate but to nurture the industry which is why when it started Africa as the first one in 96 and subsequently has you know been the the baby godmother and everything um, so the NBC is in a very unique peculiar situation but I think that this particular year with the advances in technology and everything with more platforms um, and with the rise of content we're now specifically in the age of content um, so I think that that's where, where, you know, technology is still very wonderful, but I'm a content guy. I see that it is actually the requirement for content that helps to suggest to you what kind of technology you're going to employ. So I think that NBC, um, and, and particularly this year's own, is um, I, I see from the people I see around, um, I, I think it's just, it's, it's wonderful. The budget is not there, we know that the money is not there, we know the revenue is not there, so we're trying to kind of bring local solutions, because we believe in solutions. Everything around you here is about solution. We want to solve people's problems. And one of the biggest problem now is exchange rate. We are feeling ourselves as a company. So we want to make sure we can solve people's problems, give them cost-effective um, um, solutions that can meet their budget on time 
on value and on quality. Many more very precise uh, and, and important uh, stations. And we also talk about IP security in these times because everybody can steal data. And we have a system called Home. This is a safety platform that checks what's going on if somebody wants to go into the network and touch it. We put it into quarantine. So broadcast is no longer as it was the last 30 years. The NBC in several ways explores the areas that focus on enhancing the entire value chain from content creation all the way to consumption, comprehensive approach to addressing issues that are needed in television and radio spectrum, as well as how to assess the broadcast industry market through Africast. Ardo Bay has introduced an innovative digital dress through its Project Prime Roads. The digital dress showcased at Adobe Max Conference was introduced and modeled by Christian Deck, a research scientist at Adobe. She demonstrated the dress transformative capabilities, showcasing how the patterns on the dress can instantly change with the press of a button. The dress incorporates sequence which reflects light diffuser models that utilize liquid crystals similar to those found in smart lightning systems. According to Adobe, this technology opens up endless possibilities for designers, allowing them to layer it into clothing, furniture and other surfaces to unlock infinite style options. Users can now download and wear the latest design from their favorite designers. The National Information Technology Merit Award, NITMA, organized by the Nigeria Computer Society, NTS, is set to take place on November 23, 2023, at the Museum Center in Onikon, Lagos. This prestigious event aims to recognize and celebrate the remarkable achievement of individuals and organizations in the field of information technology. This was announced by Dr. Mohamed Siraju Aliu, the president of NCS, at a press briefing held today at NCS head office in Lagos, where he alighted the array of award categories. The 2023 National Information Technology Award, uh, Merit Award, NIDMA, has been slated for 23rd November 2023 at Motion Center, Onikan, Lagos. Nigeria. The highest, the highlight of the award to be presented at the 2023 National Information Technology Merit Award are as follows. The Digital Governor of the Year. With this award, Nigerian Computer Society wish to recognize outstanding governors that are making enormous investment in information technology. The following governors were selected to compete for the award. His Excellency, the Executive Governor, His Excellency, Mr. Godo Obaseki, Executive Governor of Edo State, His Excellency, Senator Upa Saini, Executive Governor of Kaduna State. The next category of award, which is the IT Personality of the Year Award. Then the next category of the award, which is going to be given, is IT Gold Merit of the Year Award. This award was introduced in 2021. The award is known as the Presidential Award. It is a special award to a particular individual that deploy IT in economic strategy. Other awards are IT Company of the Year Award, Technology Innovation Award, uh, Banks category. Then we have Youth Innovators, uh, Youth Innovators of the Year Award. In addition, the Deputy Vice President, Dr. Charles Onyeku, expressed excitement towards the preparation of the event, emphasizing the efforts of the committee and partners. Initially, I want to thank you for the abrupt uh, attendance to this meeting, respecting the fact that um, the notice was very short. It shows that we are partners, and I have to commend every one of you, and I'm so grateful that um, you are sad us and you are here. I really want to thank you. I'm so impressed. I'm so happy. I go home now. I know that we have partners, especially from the, the, the people that are in charge of the top command. Let me put it as the movers and the shakers of our <laughs> economy and nation. 
as the foremost and largest IT professional association in Nigeria and Africa, NCS has been the voice of information technology professionals for over four decades, annually recognizing, celebrating, and rewarding outstanding excellence and contribution in the field. And that's all for today. Do follow us on our YouTube channel displayed on your screen for more updates. My name is Omoye Haza. This is DG Vision Network. In this episode of Gadget Lounge, we are exploring the remarkable impact of AI on consumer electronics, especially in mobile technology. With features like voice recognition, natural language processing, and machine learning, hand gesture control, and direct voice interaction, it is obvious that the future of mobile technology has come. Can I eat this? Yes, dragon fruits are low in sugar. Of such creation is Ifyok from Nigeria by Uya, who recently showcased her innovation at Aquaibom Tech Week, and in the United States by former Apple employee, a husband and wife, Imran Chudri and Bethany Mongrionio. If York shows an offering of personalized experience and makes daily activities a breeze, why AI pain has the potential to be a game changer in the technology world. It's a device that could revolutionize how we interact with technology. So whether it is if York AI phone or innovative AI pain, it is clear that AI is taking us on an exciting journey of possibilities. Who knows what other incredible creation are waiting to be discovered. Do you prefer to go to a physical store or shop online? I prefer going to I, I like. Shopping online makes it more easier if you are a busy man and you can't be taking your time off uh, going to the physical shop to shop. Why online? Just uh, a click, click on, 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 on the finger, it's delivered at your doorstep. But the disadvantage, which I am so disappointed in, is that most times, not what you order for. More Nigerians who key in to online business or online world. That's the only thing. It's the same with what you are seeing on your phone. So those are the problems we are having most times when you are paying online. Hey Agabi, welcome you to this new ride. A digital ride that takes you into the lifestyle experience of innovation. That is the show for the week. If you have any details, please log on to digivisionnetwork.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel Digivision Network. Better still, our Facebook or Instagram. Until next week, I remain yours sincerely. Bayeru Agabi. Peace.